Hello everyone, how are you? Your favorite photographer Akshay here and welcome to the basic photography series. Today we are going to explore different exposure modes in your camera and how they can help you take better pictures by giving you more control over the camera settings. You can see these options on the dial of the camera and in some cameras it can be selected in the menu option. Let's start first with the auto mode. The auto mode is generally represented in green in most of the cameras. This is the basic and the simplest exposure mode that your camera has. This mode takes care of every setting in your camera, from shutter speed to aperture and ISO. It also takes care of the flash if you have one built in in your camera. It is great for beginners or if you want to take a quick snapshot without thinking about the settings in your camera. But if you use this mode, you will give up a lot of control over your photos. The camera will always be exposed to keep the meter at zero. If you want to learn what metering is in your camera, I have put the link of the metering video in the description below. You can go and check it out. Now to expose properly, your camera can crank up the ISO to such a high value where it can introduce grains in your picture or it can lower the shutter speed to such a value that it will introduce motion blur in your picture. Just a word of caution there. The next one is aperture priority mode. You can see this on the dial as AV or A depending on your camera manufacturer. This mode allows you to set the aperture and the camera decides the optimal shutter speed to keep the meter at zero to have a proper exposure. You can use aperture priority mode when you want to control the depth of field in your picture such as blurring the background and isolating your subject from the background without thinking about the shutter speed. The next one is shutter priority mode. This can be TV or S on the dial depending on your camera manufacturer. This mode allows you to control the shutter speed of the camera and the camera controls the aperture to get the best exposure based on the meter. You can use shutter priority mode when shooting sports or action shots without thinking about the aperture. The next one is program mode. You can select it as P on the dial. This mode allows you to select either shutter speed or aperture and the camera selects the other setting to achieve the best exposure. When you shoot on program mode, the camera will start with the best setting for the optimal exposure, just like the auto mode. But you will have an option to override the shutter speed or aperture and the camera will choose the other setting accordingly. This mode is great for the people who want more control over their photos than the auto mode but don't want to bother with the complexity of manual mode. The last one is manual mode. You can choose it by selecting M on the dial. The manual mode is completely opposite of the auto mode. It gives you the complete control of the camera setting including shutter speed, aperture and ISO. The manual mode is ideal for the photographers who want to take complete creative control over their photos. In this, the metering mode is going to tell you the exposure of the picture that you are going to take. It could be slightly brighter or could be slightly darker, but you get to choose to follow it or not. So there you have it, 5 exposure modes in your camera. Experiment with each one of them to find which works best for you. I also mentor people, if you want to learn photography personally from me, you can send me an email. I will mention the email address in the description below. You can follow us on our Instagram, the handle is on the screen. You can also follow on my personal Instagram, the handle is again on the screen. If you found this video helpful, do give it a like, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Re Photography. And I will see you guys in the next one.